What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Drop Lows here. We are back again today with another video. Now, this is going to be short and sweet because this is just part eight to introduce y'all to the new bike that I picked up. As well as the new bike, I'm starting to shoot from my Android phone instead of my iPhone. And I done mic'd it up. So I hope the quality is good. Quality should be pretty great. Ain't that right? What you think? I think she said roll the inch. You ever seen a chopper do some damage? Niggas stepping. I ain't got a chance. Make sure I tell them. You must be out of your mind. Look, my man walking the school to got down. Look at him on the school. Still the king. Tell that bitch. Besides, to the world, I'm in that way. Alright YouTube, so this right here is my newly acquired bike. It is a 2021 Honda Grom Clone X Pro X7, whatever they want to call, 125cc. Today I had to do a little piece of mod, and actually I'm going to have a few mods I'm going to have to do before this bike is going to be ready for the road. The first one was ditching the old shifter that came on it because that whole assembly mess was just sloppy. Like, And look at how broke and bent the shifter was. It, yeah, it, it had done been through it. So we got a new shifter on here. It shifts like butter. You got a shifting issue with your Grom or your Grom clone? XR50, KLX110, KX60. Slap another shifter on here, and I promise you it's going to solve those shifting issues. The bike itself, though, is fresh. Like, this thing ain't even got 115 miles on it yet. So it's caused me to take a pause. I always had clapped out bikes and shit like that. I ain't never really had a brand, brand spank a new damn bike like this so what it has made me do is have a little bit more respect for it i'm gonna end up uh basically stunting it out putting the pegs putting the 12 bar and everything it needs to protect these fairings and shit i'm gonna i'm gonna throw all that on this bike before i pick it up and try and wheel it but yeah but look rob clone is gonna be getting some work done too because i want this to be a reliable beater bike like not only do i want it to be a reliable beater bike to where i can just ride it any damn where i feel like pleasing and shit but I want this bike to look good as well. I, I'm not trying to go for another clapped out bike. My clapper is a scooter. This right here, I'm gonna actually clean up, paint job, like paint, no plastic dip. I don't even wanna do the wrap. I want to paint it, paint it. And after I get all that said and done, this 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 thing right here is gonna gonna look ride and feel great now my next couple mods that i got in mind that i i kind of already started but this stuff this, this just temporary the stock car some he had already been up in the bike you know snatched out the air box and shit and it came without a pod filter so this is just something i had laying around slapped on it that carb is getting swapped out i'm gonna throw a flat slide on there i always do good with the flat slides as far as the handlebar set up like the bars and the stock bars i ain't got much to really say about them they ain't fit they decent but you see he put the bike together so he done messed up a little piece i thought it had went down on him uh, i see the scratches here and as i say he broke the foot peg so yeah basically the bike gonna need a, a couple damn mods before i just jump on it and run it into the dirt like if i jump on it right now i'll run this bike into the dirt if i jump on it after i put some parts into it to protect the body and shit like that i have a little bike that's probably gonna damn last but who knows yeah so that next mod we're gonna change up all of this up here when you get done like Remember this setup right now because it will not be like this in a little while. We're going to get new bars, new grips, possibly going to minimize all it. I, I do like these. Though. I got to say, Grom and the Grom clone, y'all got better damn uh, control modules than anything I've known. Like, they feel good. They, they right in size. Not too big, not too little, but we're going to minimize this for when I go with the whole stunt setup. Uh, the front brake, I've already hey stopped. If you ain't got no money to do it, because y'all know I do the budget shit, just chop off the end. Chop off the end, get it a little even. Now, as you see, all I need is a bar slider right here. I won't be breaking my damn uh, front lever or my clutch lever. Bar slider. That, that's what I'm doing for these stock bars. I know that they crap and they probably gonna bend the first time they touch the ground, but 
you're going with the XR50 or the KLX 110s up here. This whole cluster gotta go. It's already like 15 miles an hour off. I could literally pull off and the bike will show up and say, damn, 20 miles an hour. So we gotta go. And back on the shifting side or whatnot, I gotta get the plate for this. I mean, plate, plug it off. It, I think it's got a screw in it. He said he put a screw in it, done something. But I'm, I know where the plate is, man. I gotta order a plate for it, block off that evap. The rest of the evap is out. I've already, I, look at the fuel filter that came in this thing. Bro. Bro, that's the fuel filter that came in the bike. Like, so much trash and dirt and shit was in it. It ain't make sense. Bike ain't even want to run. I done swapped that out, though. So, so back down to this side once again. I cracked this cover off, and he already put a 17 tooth up here. So, I'm going to ride the 17 and see what it feel like. After that, I do got a 14 and a 15 and a 16 on the way. If I don't like the 17, it's too quick as far as too short of a first gear to uh we gonna change it out as far as the front end I'm looking at slimming this down these turn signals gotta go either i do the flush mounts or i do the little thin thin bars these it, bro why is that damn turn signal so big and the light ain't no bigger than my finger like, come on, man. But hey, that's even with the Honda Grom, too. That ain't just a clone thing. Both of the tail lights, yeah, as I say, I, it, it hit that one time is all it took in order to crack the cases out of those. So I got to replace them tail lights. Bikes don't need work. It ain't even so much work. The bike is going to need maintenance in order for me to have it as the bike I want. I want this to be a little stunt, wheelie, lock bike, and or something I can ride to work, ride around town, ride to another damn city if I feel like it. I got to tune it. I got to do the basics. If you can't do the basics, then go buy a Honda Grom. You think you about to drive this bike fresh out the box or out off the floor and just go run, run, run? Nah, man. This ain't the one for you. Go get, go, go by the name brand bike. That way you can talk trash about it when it mess up on you. Because this wheel, I ain't gonna say it's gonna mess up, but it's gonna have its tweaks and issues you're gonna have to fix in order to make it a reliable bike. If you're not mechanically inclined, you ain't gonna be able to do it. It's only gonna hurt your feelings and make you feel like you wasted money. Well, honestly, you saved a bunch. You just gotta know how to work on the bike. I also realized right there, my camera angle is a little harsh. Like, my op this Android is way bigger than the iPhone. It's a whole lot harder to hold and trying to hold the microphone at the same time. But yeah, we gonna wrap this video up right here. This is gonna be the end of... Uh, actually, this is gonna be the beginning of a new series. I don't know the name just yet. Grom clone stunt bill. Uh, Grom clone stunt bill. G clone stunt bill. G clone. G clone stunt bill. I, 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 I'm just coming off the head. We gonna find out a name for this whole series because the clone is gonna get its own series. I'm gonna separate it from the RM85 and I'm gonna finally end that series. I know, right? I ain't get much on it. I got a couple good wheelies and shit in, but the main wheelies I had was off camera, man. If y'all would have seen that last final night when I had it on the strip outside of my CD and was able to get a little space and move, bro, I actually got the bike up, walked a few feet with it, click, click from first to second gear and walk with the bike. The same shit I was trying to shoot on camera, I ended up catching. With all that being said, though, I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer. Subscribe to the channel. We growing this year. I'm continuing to grow and this bike right here I, i'm about to have a progression on wheelie series on it i'm gonna have to learn it i ain't gonna come out here 100 percent a noob and not be able to get the wheel up i'm gonna have to learn how to wheelie it and control it and learn so much well i can't say so much shifting through gears first and second gonna be my best friend uh for a minute but yeah if you enjoying the content and look forward to more get a video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i will see you soon